Hello everyone and welcome to FootballPower.tv's year-end high school top 10 show. Hello, I'm Dan Driscoll. Well, we've experienced quite an extraordinary football campaign in the small division. A memorable year that even saw one school from Kansas capture the hearts of America back in November. And now the results are in for the best of the best in the small division football. So without further ado, Coming in at number 10 in the rankings is Cordova out of Alabama with a rating of 93.43. The Blue Devils capped a 15-0 season with the Class 3A Championship, their first title since 1995. Equipped with a punishing ground game and a gritty defense, head coach Scott Baisden and the Blue Devils had a 1-2 punch that no teams could answer during the season. At number nine, we have Kalina High School out of Illinois, which ended the year at 94.50. Behind the strong arm of Gavin Kaiser, the Pirates rolled to a 14-0 record and the Class 1A title. The championship, which saw the Pirates triumph over Tuscola 35-7, was Kalina's third state title and the first under head coach Ed Freed. The Pirates previously won state titles in 1997 and 2003. Finishing eighth in the rankings this year is Monday High School from Texas with a rating of 94.66. The Moguls recently celebrated a perfect season with the Class 1A championship over Bremen. The rushing duo of B.J. Dawkins and Steven Urbanchik gave the Moguls a formidable attack on offense one that put up 695 points in 15 games. The Moguls Championship comes just one season after the squad failed to reach the playoffs. Monday also won the state title in 1984. Coming in at number seven in the small rankings is Garden Plain High School from Kansas with a rating of 94.80. The Owls captured their first Class 3A championship in November with a 48-7 route of number one ranked and defending champ Silver Lake. Garden Plain finally earned the championship they had been seeking after falling short in title contests over four previous occasions. Running back Logan Dold finished his career with 7,144 yards and 109 touchdowns. At number six in the rankings we have Alto High School from Texas with a rating of 95.04. The Yellow Jacks made it back-to-back -back Class 1A football championships with a 22 to win over Seymour. The Jackets are now 28-0 over the last two seasons. In 2007, Alto's aggressive run-stopping defense was a major reason for the team's success. This squad just allowed 80 points in 14 games, good for just 5.7 per contest. Meanwhile, running back Marcus Gassaway and quarterback Tarlandis Mitchell combined to net 1,000 yard rushing seasons. Finishing fifth in the rankings is Fairview High School out of Camden, Arkansas. The Cardinals, with a rating of 95.63, dominated competition for the bulk of the season en route to 12 straight wins and a spot in the Class 5A semifinal game against Greenwood, who had won the last three state titles. But despite a late rally attempt, the Cardinals fell short 24-21 and were denied a trip to Little Rock. Fairview was ranked number one in the state for the majority of the season. Here at footballpower.tv and also by the Arkansas Democratic Gazette. Meanwhile, running back DeAnthony Curtis was named Arkansas Gatorade Player of the Year in November after gaining 2,525 all-purpose yards and scoring 26 touchdowns during his senior season. At number four in the rankings is Mount Ida out of Arkansas with the rating of 96.85. The Lions underwent their most successful season in history after claiming their first two-way championship with the 17-16 win over Bearden, a team that came in boasting the state's top defense. Led by Josh Baker's 1,500 yards rushing and 28 touchdowns and quarterback Taylor Elder's 24 passing touchdowns, the Lions offense proved to be one of the most formidable in Arkansas. Baker also kicked 
the championship clinching 22 yard field goal with just five seconds left for the Lions. Coming in at number three is Smith Center from Kansas with the rating of 96.92. The Redmen were gained national headlines this season as a high scoring, record setting squad from a town with just one stoplight in America's heartland. In November, the Redmen defeated Pittsburgh St. Mary Colgan 40 to 14 to win the Kansas Class 2-1A championship. And not only was the victory the squad's fourth straight state championship, but it was also the team's 54th straight win. Should Smith Center make it one more perfect season, it would shatter the state record for most consecutive victories at 66. Earlier this season, the Redmen made it headlines when they scored 72 points in the first quarter of a game against Plainville on the way to an 86-0 victory. Behind legendary coach Roger Barta, the Redmen opened the season with 11 consecutive shutouts and ended the year scoring 844 points while giving up just 20. Our second ranked team this year is Akron out of Colorado with a rating of 97.40. Success has been no stranger to the Rams as the squad has made it to the last six Class 1A state championship games. The Rams made it back-to-back -back state titles in November after defeating Lyman 46-14 in the final, and which marked the sixth straight time both Akron and Lyman faced each other for the championship. Behind Joe McKay and a prolific single-wing offense, the Rams racked up nearly 4,000 yards and 60 rushing touchdowns in 2007. And finally, coming in at our number one in the final rankings is Marion Local out of Ohio with a rating of 97.57. And while this team comes from a tiny Maria Stein population 300, there has been nothing small about the Flyers this year. Rather, the team has been imposing and nothing short of sensational. The Flyers won their fourth state championship since 2000 with a 20-14 victory over Youngstown Ursuline on November 30th. With the title victory, the Flyers ride into 2008 on the heels of a 27-game winning streak. Meanwhile, the championship saw the Flyers become just the fourth team in state history to win a state title in one division and then repeat the next as champion in the higher division. And a major reason for that lies in the athletic proudness of their power duo, quarterback Chris Stuckey and running back Ben Schaefer. While Stuckey threw for 1,600 yards and 20 touchdowns, Schaefer scampered for 1,327 yards and 28 touchdowns this season en route to another state championship. All the while, head coach Tim Goodwin improved his overall record to 124 with the Flyers. The 2000 season may have been the school's most impressive. The Flyers outscored opponents 602 to 103 while posting seven shutouts overall. An important note, this team beat Coldwater, a 4A champion who beat Cardinal Mooney in the state championship for Ohio. And there you have it, our final top 10 for the small division. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. For footballpower.tv, I'm Dan Driscoll. Footballpower.tv, get the power.